to square off. Here we go. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. Defend yourself at all times, but this fighter hasn't defended themselves at all. As the great Phil Collins once sang, I can feel it in the air tonight. What a buzz. Did you see the nerves of a fighter stepping into the ring, Tom? I can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking up at the corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be from both men in this ring. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This counter puncher is gonna wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You're trying to the counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think this way, but counter punches, they're watching you. Oh, 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 oh. He just misses with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Second round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. These shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Here's the bill for round four. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take them. Oh my word, Canelo just got clipped. Misses with the left uppercut. They better start respecting each other's punching power. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to quick burst, boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Nice with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. A big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you. It could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Punch landed. Changes from both men in this round. 
Good job trying to back out of trouble. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. In feeling like your ping pong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Well, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. I thought we were going to see the finish. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges. Oh, my word. Down goes RJJ. And as we see it again in slow motion, there's no doubt. That body punch right there buckled him. seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. And there's the bell for round seven. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's going to bust him. He's going to bust him. He's going to Yeah. Perfect counter lands. And counter punching. He threw the hook, didn't land. Canelo Alvarez just got rocked in a big way. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. He can't afford to make one single minor mistake. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Some nice exchanges from both men in this race. Chins, by the way. An upset of the year, perhaps, right before our eyes. How did they survive that? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for these cut areas over them eyebrows, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them. And finally, Jones goes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. They're both trying for an up, and just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. What a blow to the head there. Let's see it again on instant replay. Good counter punch. Will the referee step in? Oh, I heard that 
never by Phillip. Let's talk about Jones Jr. I don't know who's got the advantage here after both men tasted the canvas in that round. Absolutely crazy. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Both fighters knocked down in the last round. What do we have in store for us in this one? I've seen that twice before. Both fighters knocked down in the same round. We've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. and this fight continues. He misses with that jab. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? Talk, do you know what it's... about it. Shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even.